Hi everyone, this is Belal Khan and you are watching Simplified Coding. Right now our game's background is blue and it is very boring. So in this video we will add a nice background to our game. So if you go to arts folder then you will see you already have a game background image here. And we will use this image as our game's background. And to do this first we will select the game background image and then you need to change the wrap mode to repeat because we want to create a scrolling background. So it is very important that you change the wrap mode to repeat. So change this thing and apply the changes. Now inside our main camera we will create 3D object and quad. So we will create a quad here like this and then we will scale the quad to cover all the camera like this. So we will scale it. This seems fine. So we have our quad. Now the problem is our quad is above our game views. So what we will do is we will change the quads position Z axis to make it behind our game views. So let's change the Z to 10 and it is behind now. Now we will add the background image to this quad. But before we will remove this mesh collider because we don't need this thing. So remove the component mesh collider from the quad and then drag this game background to our quad like this. Now you can see we have the background but it is very dark. And to remove this darkness we will open the arts folder and now you will see a folder named materials is created inside the arts folder. And inside the materials folder you have game background. So what we will do we will change the shader to unlit and then texture. Now you can see we have a nice background. So if you run the game now, you have a static background. It is looking nice but it is static. What we need is we need a scrolling background. And to make the background scrolling, we need to create a script. So let's do it. Go inside the scripts folder. And here we will create a C-sharp script and we will name it scrolling background. Open the script and inside this script we need to write some code. Actually we need to write only a single line of code inside the update function. But first we need some objects. Actually we need only a single object. And we need an object of the renderer that we have inside our quad that is mesh renderer. So we will create a public renderer and we will name it background. You can name the object anything. So we have the renderer. Now come inside update function and here we will write background dot material dot main texture offset and we will write plus equals to and we will define the new vector 2 that takes x and y axis so we will write new vector 2 and here we will define the x and the y value and for the x we will define our background speed so we have public float background speed and we will use the speed in place of x and we don't need to move vertically because our scrolling background will move only horizontally. So for the y we will pass 0 like this and everything is fine. Now we just need to attach the script to our quad. So select quad and then add component and we will add scrolling background like this. Now let's run the game. And the background is not scrolling because we did not initialize the values. So select quad and then open the script which is scrolling background. And to the background we will add the squad like this. And then to the background speed we will write let's say 0 
Now let's try running the game again. And the speed is very fast. So what we will do is we will multiply the background speed to time dot delta time and it will decrease the speed. So let's try running the game again. And this time you can see the speed is nice. Now if you want to decrease the speed a little bit then you can change this background speed value. So I will make it 0.1. Now let's try again. And this time it is nice I think. And yes it is perfect. So we have the background as well in our game. And now the game is looking very nice. So if you followed this tutorial successfully so far then please comment below that you successfully created this game till here and we will finish this game very soon but so far I think everything is nice. In case you have any problem then feel free to comment your problem below and I will try to help you out. If you like this course then please share this course with your friends who want to learn game development and thanks for watching I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.